Hey, Facebook Nation. It is Tracy Lewis coming to you live from Hollywood, Florida. And we have two incredibly special and fascinating and amazing guests. This is Carmen and Mr. Matt Bean. And they are part of the number, or Carmen is the number one real estate agent in the city of San Antonio. What a lot of people don't know about San Antonio is that we are literally bigger than Dallas. It's the seventh largest city in the United States. So I'm telling you what, to have Carmen and Matt here stop telling us their secrets to dominating the real estate market is quite an honor. Carmen and Matt, take it away. Hey, Hi. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Great to be here, Tracy. Thanks for having us on, on here and talking with us today. Um, Carmen's going to share a few of her secrets of what she does and how she dominates the market here and has dominated the market for the last three years. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so go ahead and uh, let's hear some of your secrets. What do you yeah. <laughs> but if I, give them, if I give them away, they're not secrets anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, let's let's start from the beginning, sort of, kind of. Um, I got into the business just really just thinking I would sell a house here and there. Mm -hmm. Never in my wildest dreams did I think it would get to a level to where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. um, basically, um, I, I did a lot of training. Uh, Rick Tankersley, if, if anybody from San Antonio is, is watching or listening, okay. um, he taught me really most of the stuff that I needed to know in order to get started and hit the road running. Um, too many people go to training and then by the time they get home, they don't apply what they've learned. So I guess uh, anything that I've ever learned from Rick, I went home and I tried it and, you know, um, made it my own and um, started doing what he told me to do. And that's how I slowly build up my business. Um, I think I was nine months into it and I still hadn't closed the real estate transaction. And at that point, my husband and Rick both had to give me a pep talk because I was ready to throw the towel. And, you know, it's not that easy when you get started. And right. and so I just want to make sure that even newbies that are watching this right now um, understand real estate. You know, you don't get into this business and start selling right away. There's a lot of work behind it. And um, just make sure that you, you know, pick the right people that you tag along with and um, get the right training. And Rick Tankersley, there's nobody better than him. And of course, in, in combination with us, um, we can teach you everything you need to know. But um, so after the ninth month, I finally had my first transaction that I closed and I was, you know, um, getting pretty excited about it. So I was hanging in there and from there on, I just worked the leads that I got and I worked them and worked them and, one lead turned into 10 and 10 turned into 20. And, you know, I got a few closings here and there and um, um, just started doing pretty well. And I can't remember all the rankings, but I think a year and a half into it, um, I was ranked the number one Century 21 agent um, in San Antonio, maybe two wow. years into it, something like that. Wow. And that, that was already pretty, pretty amazing. Um, and, and again, you don't stop learning. I mean, you, you continue um, going to any kind of uh, training that you can get. And again, with Rick on my side, he always tries to come up with, with new tricks and things that he, he also learns. And uh, so, so yeah, from there on, um, I was kind of stuck at a certain number. Um, I think back then, what, what do you think it was? Between five and 10 oh, mil seven, yeah. seven million. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were telling me, you know, you will always be stuck at that number if, if you don't hire an assistant. I mean, we, we just like to do it all ourselves, but I had to let go and, and hire um, one person to help me out because you can only do so much. Usually when you have two to three transactions um, going at one time, that's usually the limit of most people. And so I, de I decided to hire and I hired a lot of the wrong people. First, mm -hmm. it was I didn't want to spend the money. Mm -hmm. So I started out with high school students and part time yeah. assistants and shared assistants. And none of that really worked for me until I finally um, understood the concept of you, you get what you pay for. Right. So that's when I hired a full time assistant. It was so, so scary because, you know, the, the biggest the thing that you think about is, oh my gosh, what if I can't pay them? Um, but, you know, somebody once told me um, when, um, what did she say, Nikki? Uh, basically, I have never made less money after hiring somebody. I always made more money because it freed me up to go after more business. 
Mm-hmm. So, and she was absolutely right. There was no nothing to be worried about. Is if you just keep working them leads and and let the paperwork be up to to the assistant, um, because that's what you pay them for. All the paperwork and all the things that you don't have time for, then you know you can start going after um, more transactions. Um, so that's kind of how things get started and how I started building building my business. So. If you're stuck at a certain number year after year, you have to hire a person. You have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And true words have never been been spoken. And and you are right. It's a lot in the selection process. You've really got to make sure that you're hiring somebody that can, <laughs> can yeah. do the job. I, I think one of the mistakes that a lot of people make when they're hiring somebody is they hire somebody that they like, you know, and that they connect with. And if the people that I like and the people that I connect with well, they're not going to want to do the same things that I don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. You really have to hire somebody that maybe you're not so connected to, but that their skill set matches where your weaknesses are. Exactly. If sometimes you want to hire the, the total opposite. So you have that, that conflict in there that you know, have a different view of what you're, what you're doing and, you know, a different perspective on it. Yeah. So we always do the disc test when we hire, you know, we balance it against, and that's, very important because mm-hmm. how the team melds, how everybody works together. Um, I mean, we found out very quickly. We did one bad hire. Two days later, we had to let her go because she just disrupted everything in the office. And oh. from that point on, we went with this test and we tested everybody and everybody we hired from that point on melded well based on those disc tests and the interviews. So yeah, another value item that you should look at when you're hiring people. So what is y'all's disc profiles? I'm curious. I'm a high D and high I. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you were high D and high C, I believe, is what yours were. I have to pull yeah. up again. Yeah. yeah. So we both have a little high D going on. So this is <laughs> the most complex of how we do things, but <laughs> we work it out. I love it. That's awesome. So how long have y'all worked together? Have y'all just worked together since you started in real estate, or? No, I, uh, so when she started in real estate, I was working for the government. I had a good job. Uh, I was 25 years, I guess, with the government. And, uh, I, you know, I came home one day and I said, you got to find a career because at 30 years I've had enough, I'm retiring. Oh. And, yeah. She jumped into real estate. She started get, moving and lo and behold, five years or three years ago now, uh, she was doing good enough that I could retire and join her. And, I went from being the primary income person to being in the background, doing a little paperwork, and she's now earning all the money. So it was a great transition. What a great place to be. What a great story. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, Tracy, there's a couple of things that Carmen really touched on there. She didn't highlight it enough. Um, Those first nine months when she became a real estate agent, I sat back and I watched her and I wanted to see, you know, what she was going to do, how she was going to, how she was going to make out. And she worked hard. She did what all of Rick's training. And like she said, she just kept falling short and falling short. And she had some of the worst transactions there ever was. Um, I, I mean, nightmare stories. And, uh, you know, I sat back and I watched the whole thing. But in the end, what I realized that nine months of everything she went through is what made her the good agent that she is. I mean, she learned so much by failing in those nine months that, you know, she learned what not to do. And, you know, at, at that nine month point, she just turned her business around and from there she never wow. looked back. Yeah, but it was amazing to watch how, how that all took place and what she learned and how she applied that to be where she's at today. So, Isn't you know, cool. the failure is just part of the game. Yeah, that's for mm-hmm. sure, yeah. Yeah, that, that there's a lot of truth to that too, right? You uh, you you got to learn how to fail quickly <laughs> and yeah. make adjustments. Yeah, and how to make adjustments and not to fail again. So uh, don't be scared to fail because that's where you're going to learn from and that's where you're going to grow from. Absolutely, I I agree 100. percent So um, of course, uh, just just like me, Carmen, you started your career at Century 21, correct? Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, yeah. great right. company, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, it it is. It gave me all the tools I needed to start it in this business to start in the business. And for me, it was the best there was on the market at that time when I was interviewing brokers, but it was really um, Rick that kind of stood out, but Century 21 itself, I mean, they, they have some great tools. That yeah. was until I 
discovered exp of course yeah. <laughs> so, we took it to the next level but um yeah up to that point um we were very happy with century 21. so tell us a little bit about that transition i i know that when mega producers are um are thinking about jumping ship to a new real estate company man there's a lot of moving parts right well let me start and i'll let him finish so Basically, again, he's, he joined three years ago and he's the number cruncher. I don't have time to do that. I just run and sell real estate and I work 24, used to work 24 seven at that point. And, um, you know, when he said, well, I mean, why don't we just go out and look and see what else is out there? I, it scared me because I don't like change. Um, why, why change something that works so well or worked so well up to that point? So when he started, you know, doing some numbers. One day he uh, set me down and showed me some numbers and I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, so basically he convinced me to go out and, and just listen to a couple other people that have been trying to, you know, recruit me for a while and just uh, to have an open mind. And that's what I did. And we interviewed with one big company in San Antonio and, you know, what I heard there versus where we were at at that point actually sounded pretty good. Right. I have to admit. Um, so again, going back to numbers, I'm like, wow, you know, if we were to do that, but I, I still wasn't convinced. I just like my, um, what do you, how do you call it? Uh, your security blanket. My security blanket, that's probably a good way to put it. I just, I hate change. And, and of course, the word technology, when, when we were first introduced to EXP, scared me to death. Huh. I'm not a techie person, but you know what? They make it so simple and so easy that there's really nothing. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And the, the, tools, are, the tools are so awesome. I mean, yeah, there, there was really nothing to be worried about. But again, we interviewed with one big company. They sounded pretty good. And then... Um, through through somebody else that I know, they said, hey, before you make a decision, you better talk to EXP. And I'm like, EX what? <laughs> At that point, I'm like, what, what is that? Um, so basically she's like, trust me, you've got to talk to somebody from this company. And so we did. And uh, you know, it's um, it, it was even better than the first person we talked to, the first company. and. Uh, I was still not ready. I was still not ready. I still, you know, again, change is, is just not for me. And, um, but then we had many more conversations about it. And I think it was really the numbers. And the biggest thing was actually to have a goal. If we were to change to EXP, we could actually uh, fairly quickly, if all of that, what they were telling us is true, um, we could come up with a with a retirement plan, meaning in so and so many years we could actually retire, and that was the big one for me. Where I'm like, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm I'm running 24 seven. I know I can't do this for another 20 years. Right. So this exit plan that was offered to us there, that that was the big one. That's really yeah. That and of course a bunch of other things, but to me, you know, that that was huge. So, so when I started with it, Tracy, I, you know, being from the outside, I worked, I worked technology for, like I said, 30 years with the government. So I was very technologically driven and, you know, I got in with Century 21 and in the office she was in, they were still doing everything with paper, you know, and the first thing I said was, we got to get rid of paper. Why are we walking around with folders just with thick paper in there and everything? So I started digging in and, you know, then I started looking at numbers and crunching the numbers down and, after a year of being there, I looked at what we were paying the broker and I said, you know, uh, it's a nice car he's got out there. Uh, we paid for that car. I mean, we're, we're talking some big numbers here. And that's when I told her, I said, you know, why don't we look at getting our own broker license? You know, why are we paying somebody else to broker us? We can do this ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's when we learned about EXP. And it, it was like a, a, you know, a match made in heaven because Really, I, I'm, we're not paying the broker or anything. I mean, I laugh at what we really pay EXP every year because we hit icon status every year. We're getting our, our broker dollars back. I, I, we're, we're doing $800,000 worth of gross income and paying maybe $10,000 and to the broker, you know, compared to the six figures we were paying at Century 21. Um, so, you know, it's six figures in your bank account, that's a lot of money and now, you know, we've put all that money into the stock shares at, at EXP and now we have 
six figures in stock, you know, just wow. from a couple of years of EXP and it's growing and it's growing. So yeah, I can honestly say our financial wealth since, since joining EXP is definitely uh, skyrocketed forward. <laughs> Oh my God, that is awesome, Matt. That's the best testimonial for this company I've ever heard. You know, I've been saying now, uh, uh, November 1st will be my four year anniversary. And so for four years, I've had the same mantra. Um, agents that are struggling come to EXP because they want an opportunity. They want an opportunity to learn and grow and build their business. Successful agents come to EXP because they understand how to do math. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like our founder, Glenn, says, it's just financially irresponsible to not be with EXP Realty. So. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't, I couldn't agree more. And, you know, you get all the disinformation. This is what cracks me up. A lot of people say, oh, all they do is recruit. They don't sell real estate. Um, we're selling just as much as we sold at Century 21. Um, our numbers are pretty much point on from when we left Century 21, but our income is much higher. So yeah, we're selling 130 homes a year, um, but we're making a lot more money while we do it. And it's a lot more fun when you make a lot more money. Oh boy, true, that, that 100% on that. Uh, when I was actively selling, my last year where I was actively selling for KW, I did 20 million in sales, right? Uh, taught was had been the top luxury listing agent at the Dominion, I mean, just kind of had, had done all of that. And my goal for my next year was to do 30 million because if I did 30 million in sales, I would, I would gross a um, hundred, I would gross a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was my goal. Now my take home would be about 350, 400,000. I figured if I pulled that off, right. Well, with EXP, I've made more than that in the past year in revenue share, and my overhead is $85 a month. <laughs> my cleaning bill is like $12 a month. I work in gym clothes. I put on a dress for you guys for this event, but as soon as I'm done, I'll be back in gym shorts and athletic shoes. So it's just awesome. Yes, exactly. Same here. Yeah. There's, there's something to say about waking up in the morning, getting a cup of coffee, and being at work, you know? Amen. So, yeah. So, we, we love it. I mean, the ESP has just been an eye opener for us. That's for sure. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the lead generation tools that you guys have been using to, to dominate the market the way that you guys have been. So, uh, of course, we use KV Core. Um, we use KV Core a lot. We have a showing assistant and she basically just she looks at that all day long. Uh, all the leads that coming in there, we're generating through uh, uh, landing pages and uh, um, squeeze pages, all that type of stuff, you know, promoting our listings. And I, I, I tell you, I tell everybody that I talk to about EXP when they talk about leads, um, I can I can sit down in a half hour's time and generate more leads than my wife and our showing assistant can handle. Wow. Uh, yeah. And if we wanted to grow a bigger team, which is not our desire, but if we wanted to, I know I could generate leads, uh, you know, oh, God, to yeah. maintain 10, yeah. 20 agents on our team. No problem just using KV Core. Um, 15, 20 minutes of your time a day on KB Core generates enough leads to really make it, uh, you can have a successful year just on doing that 15, 20 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we do a lot of, a lot of KB Core and we do a lot of advertising on social media that brings in a lot. So right. between those two platforms, which KB Corp ties into, it makes it so easy just to publish on your social media, um, you know, again, 15, 20 minutes of time and you're generating leads all over the place. So yeah, um, we're, we're very happy with the lead generation tool that they brought in and now it sounds like uh, from exp con they're going to start with their website generating leads and handing those out and let's not even talk about the express offers coming i'm so i'm so excited about this express yeah. offers um you know i think that's one of the greatest tools and again it's it's a technology-minded company just setting the pace and technology and the way this industry is going in the future and, and i'm so happy to be a part of it i just smile every morning when i wake up i put a big smile on my face knowing that i'm working for exp and i love it <laughs> <laughs> you know i i had conversion when i was with keller williams and it cost me 999 dollars to set it up and 499 dollars a month and it was worth every penny so we've had a lot of agents that have come on board with EXP because why would they pay for KB Core when you can get it for free the way that you can with our company? Right, exactly. Right, yeah. And the training, yeah. and of course in the San Antonio marketplace, our EXP agents are more blessed than maybe they are in any other city 
because of the training, the live training that goes on. Can you guys talk a little bit about the live training in San Antonio? Oh yeah. Um, so Bob Hayes, um, you know, conversion Bob, KB core Bob, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I've been to two of his trainings, just absolutely phenomenal. The guy knows the platform inside and out. Yeah. Um, and I've actually set up for him to do some training for agents that we brought on, uh, or for our own agents when we had a couple more agents working for us. Um, you know, he came in and just did small training for us. And, uh, I mean, it, it's, you can't beat it. It's the, the hands training, on. The training and the support as well that we have here in San Antonio is better than anything I've ever experienced. Um, yeah. I mean, everybody is here to help everybody. I mean, there's, I've never run into anybody that, that said, no, I don't have time for you or whatever. Um, it's just one big support system. And then again, so now Rick Tankersley obviously is with EXP as well. Yeah. So his training, I mean, he fills a room of, uh, you know, there's like a hundred to, I think 120 people, the last yeah. training he had, because he's just a training guru. And whether you're starting out, if you're, or if you've been in the business for two years, or if you've been in the business for 10 years, his training is, is for all stages of, of you know, uh, real estate. And um, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And then yes, online, I mean, it, there's just so much, it's like pick and choose. So what is it that you need at the moment? And there's something there for you. I've never had anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You're almost overwhelming the information yeah. that you can find. If on ESP Enterprise that, yeah. and, uh, and, and Workplace. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, what I love is, like she said, you can go on to any of the, any of the Facebook pages where this team disrupt their workplace um, and just throw something out there. And you're probably going to get 20, 30 answers back. Mm -hmm. And they might vary from the different states because you're getting them from all across the country and people seeing things different ways. Uh, it's so great that you can pull from that and use that and draw it into your processes and everything. So, I mean, the exposure you get on uh, on just how everybody works and collaborates within the EXP across the nation is is amazing. And now, of course, going global. So, look forward to seeing what comes out of some of those other countries. Absolutely. You know, I, I loved what y'all were talking about when we first started about how if I tell all my secrets, you know. But with EXP, we really actually have a vested interest to share our secrets with each other. Can you guys talk a little bit about how the compensation model rewards agents for helping each other? Yeah, um, you want me to take that? You want to, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, right. So when we're talking uh, the compensation model and everything, I, you know, we're not big attractors in the in the business and everything. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, we had we had to get a real estate business going, but we don't sure. now. Now we want to start talking with more agents and 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 educating them on EXP and what's going on there and what it's bringing to the table. Um, but, you know, like I said, we, we didn't focus in that area at the beginning. And, you know, just from the people we've talked to and brought over, uh, I like to tell everybody that my son now has a, a, a college tuition paid at UT Austin, thanks to EXP Realty. Um, we're not paying it. His whole college tuition is paid. I get a little extra money to play some golf. Um, and that's not that's without even trying. And yeah, we're you, know, not you, trying to you start really. looking at college tuitions and stuff, and you can figure out you know what what kind of money that looks like. But it's it's phenomenal. I mean, this every time we turn the corner in EXP, there's there's something else coming to us. Um, whether they they're dropping your your um, transaction fees when you hit certain milestones, getting rid of your E and O insurance when you hit milestones. All of this stuff, as we went through it, we hit these things, and, and I, I keep very close, tight books on our numbers. I know exactly what we're getting paid before we close. And when I get more money in, I kept calling EXP. I'm like, why are you giving me more money? And they said, oh, you calculated it wrong. Now we cut this. Now we cut this. And it's like every month, there was just something great you're coming to us. And I was like, it never ends. <laughs> it just never ended. And it's still going with all the technology and the tools that they're bringing out, what they talked about at EXP Con, competing with uh, Open Door and, you know, uh, platforms like that. I mean, just always forward thinking. It's amazing. Talk, talk about the, the stocks, because for me, I didn't even speak the stock language before EXP. So had to kind of look into that when, when this first talk came up, but um, you know, the way we have it set up, and of course that's an option, um, and I'll let you explain that you're better at that than, than me, but the 5%, right? Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, we, you know, we saved all that money switching over 
from Century 21. And a lot of agents, they don't they don't save, you know, they make money, they spend money, they live a good life. And my, my I thought going forward was, you know, we want a retirement plan. That's why we joined EXP. And part of that retirement plan is investing that money we save back into stocks and things like that. What better opportunity than to buy the EXP stocks at 80% of the cost? Um, so we're getting, a, you know, we're already getting 20% handed to us right there on the stocks. So yeah, every transaction we've done, five percent of our transaction goes into the stocks, um, and then the award of equity stocks that we get will reach an icon status. Uh, um, our stock awards are just. A climb. It's 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 incredible. It's immense of what what we have in uh, stock values right now, mm -hmm. and it's just going to keep growing and growing for our five year plan. It's a big part of our five year plan yeah. for retiring. Sure. Well, and and that's just it. As somebody that's doing the production that you are, EXP literally is paying you to be an agent with EXP. It's, yes. it's a fascinating business model because you made more than than you paid in. Yes. So, you know for. 15 years between Century 21 and Keller Williams, I paid franchise fees of anywhere between six and 8% for 15 years. Wow. Yep. What, what if instead all that money had gone into a stock program like EXP offers, I'd have an island in Fiji by now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. That must be your five year plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, for 11 years, I've dreamed of living on the beach, right? And when I when EXP found me, I was living in 1400 square feet at the Elan in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, this is my view now, the Atlantic Ocean, right? Wow. Yeah, nice. 39th floor of, uh, of Trump Hollywood, over 5,000 square feet, and none of it would have been possible if it hadn't been for the compensation model that EXP offers us. I mean, it's just, it's it's an opportunity to be financially free. You know, yes. I tell people all the time, if you ever see a better opportunity in any field, call me. And yeah. it's even slid anything across my desk to look at. There's just nothing out there that can compete with it. No. Yeah. No, we shopped. We shopped a lot. And, you know, her being the number one agent, everybody was he, calling. He shopped. Yeah. He and shopped. We, we talked, we interviewed, we looked around. Um, but I have to agree, when, when we talked to Pat Hayes and Brent Walden, um, you know, it, it only took two times. The first time I walked out of the meeting saying, those guys are nuts. Uh, there's no way this could work. Uh, we sat down with them the second time, and I said, how quick can you sign us up? Um, so that's you know, just just doing the research in that one week period between talking to them and everything and finding out, asking the right people, the right questions and finding out how real EXP really is, is what made us decide to switch over. I mean, we've only been with EXP for two years, but when we signed up, it was still fairly new in, in San Antonio. And, you know, I was a little skeptical. Again, I didn't even hear, I, I, Again, I said EX what? That, that's exactly what I said because I've never even heard of EXP. I guess I never had a transaction with an EXP agent. So I was a little skeptical. I mean, is all of that true that they're telling us? And I'm, I'm sure other people were the same way. But now, I mean, here we are two years later and EXP made a name for itself. Any any corner you turn in San Antonio, you'll find an EXP sign somewhere. So um, there's, the name is definitely spreading and, and more and more people are signing up because it's a no brainer. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. When we, when we launched San Antonio four years ago, two weeks from now, four years ago, um, you know, it, it was me and, and four other agents, you know, and, and we were the first one. And yeah, I would, I would talk to people about EXP and they would say ESP. <laughs> no EXP. I mean, it really, but now we're like what the third or fourth largest real estate company in the city. I mean, the numbers yeah. are just mind boggling and it's really, I, I truly feel like I, I just don't see it. I, I, I don't see how any other agent can be with any other company. Once you really do your homework and, and find out more about EXP. Yeah. Carmen and Matt, I, of course, with our compensation model, there's a, a huge vested interest that you have in, in, not only attracting agents to the company, but actually training them as well. Can you tell a little bit more about why now you have a vested interest in really coaching and mentoring agents and, and it's okay to take time away from your busy schedule to do it? How the compensation changes that? Well, so the first two years I was, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, yes, it, it involves some changes and you yeah. got to get everything changed over and set up and, all of that and I just wanted to make sure that I had my business set up the way I wanted it 
Um, so now that we're at that point, um, you know, it's time to really slow down the business a little bit. I'm not talking by any means like slowing it way down, um, but I, I just want to take that opportunity to bring some good agents on board, but also share some of my wisdom, if you want to say like that. Um, there's so many people that reached out to me all the time over the years, even before EXP, but okay. when you run such a tight schedule, it's really, really hard to share with everybody. And, and you know, everybody wants an hour with me and, and wants to sit down, which is completely fine. I understand and I'd love to share everything that I can share. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, again, this is something that we talked about. Now is the time to really slow things down um, enough to where we have time to share this, not only with us or anything that we can help people with, but also Rick Tankersley's training. So between us, maybe um, more on the coaching side, how to get you from this level to the next level. And it could be, you know, it, it doesn't need to be to, to where I'm at. I'm just talking, you're at 1 million, but you want to be at 5 million. All right, let's sit down. Let's figure out how we can get you there and how we're going to do that. Because I, I know how to get an agent from this to that, if they're willing to do the work. So, right. and holding them accountable, I think is another thing, you know, um, you can tell people something all day long, but if nobody holds you accountable, then, you know, it's easy to kind of get sidetracked. So, um, I just, you know, want to share some of that with some people and, and help them get to the next level. So to add on top of that, um, the interest for it to do this is we're business owners. We own EXP, just like you want to own it. Everybody that's commented on here, it, we own EXP. The better we do, the better every agent does, the better off we are. Our stock, our revenue share, everything is better. Um, everybody benefits from everybody producing more. So, you know, why wouldn't, why wouldn't we take the time out to invest a little bit of a knowledge that Carmen has and stuff into the people within our downline, even people that aren't in our downline that are with the EXP right. um, to help them out, to make the company better, stronger, to grow it to a point where we're not number three, number four, we're number one. That's the goal. And I think that's the goal of every EXP agent out there because they know this is our retirement plan. This is our exit plan. And we want to be, I want to be part of this company. I want to, I want to, I want to see my results. I want to see the results of us working hard, making this company grow. Oh, so beautiful. It's so inspiring. It really is. You know, I, a lot of agents, you, you touched on this a little earlier. A lot of agents kind of get stuck at that three to 7 million point. What do you think the secret above and beyond hiring an assistant? What's the, the biggest way to break through that that ceiling that so many agents seem to struggle with? So for me, there's two things that come to mind right away. So one of them is um, I, if I had to give it a number, 80 percent of agents are transaction based. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that are the, the other 20 percent up there they are relationship based. So one of the things that I've learned even before I was a realtor, because I was in sales pretty much all my life is you build relationships and people don't understand what that means. And, and, you know, th this is the big part of this. You, you want to have um, referral business. You don't want to chase after all these cold leads, turn them. And then you got to start from scratch because nobody calls you after two years because they can't remember your name anymore. There's so much you can do for people to remember your name, you know, for a long time and always, you know, stay in front of their faces. So again, um, turn your business from a transaction based business to a, a relationship based business. That is the key. And, and I did that literally already in my first year that I was in real estate. And, and that's maybe why, you know, I was the number one agent, uh, Century 21 agent after such a short amount of time because I started getting referral business right after I got into the business. And, you know, that's that's how you need that. That's what I want to coach people on. That's what I want to show them um, how you turn a transaction based business to a relationship based business. So that's number one. Um, number two for me was coaching. Um, you know, you can do everything right, but up to that point, I was just like every other agent, just a little hamster in a wheel, running, 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 running. But I really had no idea how to run a business. And that's another thing agents don't understand. This is your business. You're running it, your own business. And what does that mean? 
what are the steps you have to take to run a successful business? So coaching is literally what got me to the next level, which again, that's when I started hiring the right people um, and started really, really digging deep into the relationship business, who to go after, um, how to form this long lasting, these long lasting relationships. And not just with past clients, I'm talking builders, um, attorneys, um, medical. Fi medical, financial planners, all of that. Those are the people that send me repeat business all the time. Wow. Um, so, but how do you go after them? What do you say? How do you do that? That's kind of part of what I would like to teach and, and train people on. Wow. Wow. Well, and, and with the XP model, again, you got a vested interest in teaching folks where previously exactly. you, you couldn't afford to, you know, yeah. the, the analogy that I use is, you know, I did a lot of training classes, especially for luxury, uh, selling luxury homes. I, I ran the Fine Homes and Estates Division for the Century 21, you know, for many, many years in our area. And um, so I did a lot of luxury classes and I wanted to help everybody. But I also knew that I was training my direct competitors. Right. Exactly. So I'm not going to give them my listing presentation. I'm not going to give them anything that would set me apart. I, I tell people, you know, if you and I both owned Italian restaurants, Carmen, we might sit down and talk about best practices, but I'm not going to give you my mom's lasagna recipe, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with the XP, because of the compensation model, I'm happy to give you my mom's lasagna recipe because the more I help you, the more I help me, the more I help everybody else. It's, it's exactly a fascinating model. Yeah, Absolutely. No, I agree 100%. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm so yeah. honored. Is, is there anything else that you guys want to add or anything else that we, we maybe haven't touched on enough? Well, so for, for one thing I'll add on top of what she said is, um, you know, where a lot of agents fall short. And when I got my license, this was my problem. I didn't grow up as a salesperson is having that confidence in myself to engage the people and to follow up with them. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of agents and I was the same way when I started out one phone call. They said no. Um, but I learned you know, three, four, five phone, phone calls could equate to $5,000, $10,000. So make the phone calls, you know, keep talking to the people, come out of your shell. That's that's the biggest thing you can do is, you know, you gotta, like Carmen said, this is your business. Either you run your business or go work for somebody else. If you're gonna run your business, come out of your shell and run your business and go after it. Give it everything you got every day. What, what was the percentage of how it used to be to how many phone calls you actually with the millenniums that you have to make? Well, they say now um, all the training we've been to is anywhere from 10 to 12 calls with millennials that you have to make um, wow. in order for them to commit, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, they, they take a long time. They think about things. And, and whereas, you know, people like us, but, you know, we jump more, we're quicker. You know, we'll, we'll make a decision much quicker and act on it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the thing. You got to call. You got to keep making those phone calls. You got to create that relationship with them. You got to talk to them and, you know get them into the buying mood is what you got to, you got to be a salesperson. And no more of this one or two times calling. You really, most of the times it takes 10 to 12 calls or text messages. Um, you know, they, millenniums, they don't like to answer the phone, but they like to do text. So, um, but you keep at, you have to keep at it. So you have to rethink if you were doing this, you know, three calls and if they don't answer, that's a cold lead. Well, you have to rethink your strategy. You have to really, work hard, but you know, they're, they're ready. They just take a little longer. <laughs> no. no. Another, another thing I wanted to add. Um, so I took a few little notes just so some things, um, one of the things that are super, super important, um, that we kind of didn't do for a long time. And then I saw it with some other people and started doing the same thing. So your reviews online, everything happens online. Not only are people shopping for homes online, but when, when they hear, when somebody refers an agent to them or if they're, you know, looking up, hey, uh, agents in San Antonio, they will do their research. You better make sure that your Facebook stuff looks good and, and you don't have crazy stuff on your Facebook page. Um, you better make sure that you collect testimonials. Every testimonial, I mean, will, will look so much better. So when people Google your name and you have, I don't know, even 10 testimonials with a five star rating, that already convinces people, oh gosh, yeah, that seems to be a good agent. Um, mm -hmm. You don't have to have a hundred transactions behind you or a hundred testimonials, but of course, the more you have, the better. Um, the same with um, 
Zillow. Zillow is a, I don't know why all these people end up on Zillow, but they do. So make sure you get, you know, your past clients to write you a little review on Zillow. It's, it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's really huge. It won't take much of your time, but go to your past clients and ask them to do it. I don't care if you, you have to pride them with a $5 Starbucks gift card or whatever, but you will get leads out of that. And then the last one, I just had two um, from next door. I don't know if you guys got next door in, in mm -hmm. Florida. Yeah, of course. But, uh, mm -hmm. So basically um, I only have six people that uh, four of them didn't even say anything. They just gave me like five stars. And then two of them said, Oh, Carmen is great. I mean, not a big write up or anything. So only six, six people. And I got two leads out of next door where people saw just the rating. It doesn't even say Carmen B number one agent and blah, 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 all that stuff. Wow. So, um, next door is huge. Just make sure you get some ratings from friends and whoever can, can give you the five star ratings. And I promise you, you'll, you'll get uh, deals out of that. Brilliant. Great advice. Mm -hmm. Great advice. Yeah. Yeah, my, my two of my biggest regrets for my 22 year career is that I didn't do a good job of keeping up with my past clients and I, I didn't collect testimonials. So I, man, that is, that is, that's advice that I wish my broker had given me my first day. <laughs> yeah. But it's again, you know, um, it's huge, especially also for agents that start out. So the first five, six yeah. transactions just go after those testimonials and, and you will get leads out of that. I, I promise you, because everything happens online. Everybody mm -hmm. reads up on you online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all about your internet presence nowadays. Yes. You have to have that large internet presence to be successful. So I saw something, I can't remember, a couple of days ago, and it's just one of those things that stick out. Um, the number one characteristic of a winner or of a top producer is how fast they overcome rejection. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know how many people, I remember when I first started out and I think, again, this was one of the lessons learned. If I lost a deal, I would, I would just sit there and just kind of like, you know, the whole world is going down. I lost this deal. I worked so hard. And, you know, um, the longer I've been in the business, I've learned to get over it. The quicker I get over it, the, the more motivated I get to get more business. So yes, I, I have like the five minute rule now. If something happens and I lose a deal or for whatever reason, I'll give myself five minutes to, to just sit there and, and feel sorry about myself, but then I'll snap out of it and it's like, all right, now I'm ready. I need to get some new business. And oh. you know, that, that saying right here really says it all because there's so many people oh. that really let that get them down and you shouldn't. I mean, this is, this is yes, lesson learned, whatever. Didn't, you can't make them all happy. Just, you know, that should be getting you motivated enough to get up and, and get some more business. Great advice, you two. Very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. So what advice would you give somebody that is considering going into real estate? Hmm. So my first tip <laughs> is, and this is from watching, watching her grow. Um, she's mentioned Rick Tankersley many times. She latched on to the right mentor and trainer. Um, and, and that's really important is finding the right place for you to be where you're going to get the training, you're going to get the support um, and you're going to get the guidance. And I, I'll tell you, um, when I joined in Century 21, there was it, this little clicks inside the office where people would help other people, but not, you know, everybody wouldn't help everybody. And we don't have that anymore. I mean, it's now we can ask, we can just throw it out there and we're going to get an answer. Um, so make sure you're in the, the right place. Make sure you do your due diligence. You're getting the right splits with your broker. You're getting the right training, um, and you're getting the support from other other agents. I love it. I love it. It's pretty much what I tell new agents. I have agents that reach out and you know they want my advice. What should I do? I'm about to get my license, and literally what he just said is, I if you don't pick the right broker or brokerage and, and have the support system behind you. I always tell them you will not last a year in this business. If you don't have that. Yeah. Somebody may offer you whatever 5% more or, you know, whatever the deal or they, they offer, I don't know, paid training, for example, 
Mm -hmm. um, you really need to read behind the lines and you really got to make sure that you really have a good support system because that's really what you need at the beginning. There's, there's so many questions that, you know, mm -hmm. um, new agents have and you, you need the right guidance. Love it. Beautiful advice. Well, you guys, I'm honored and blessed beyond measure to be y'all's business partner. It, it's such a, a, an honor to be working with agents of y'all's caliber. It's the biggest blessing in my real estate career. And, um, you know, of course, tell anybody out there that's considering joining EXP, reach out to Carmen, reach out to Matt, make sure that you get all of your questions answered. We are all here to serve you and help you in any possible way. And, um, man, let's, let's continue to help real estate agents grow and prosper. And we're here to make that transition as smooth as possible. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's there's work involved. Sure. Uh, but we've learned through that transition and we can help you with whether it's new signs and business cards and all that stuff that people, you know, sweat about when changing and, and you know, leaving their comfort zone. Um, but I promise you, it's really not as hard as, as you think it is. I mean, it can be very smooth if you have the right people that help you along going through that process. Absolutely. 100%. We've got some really great tools and systems, much better than we had even four or five months ago to help agents make that, that process a, a whole lot smoother. And, and um, you know, we're all on board this really awesome rocket ship and it's just a yeah. huge blessing to, to be in business with you guys. So. Same, yes. same here, Tracy. Same. I'll never forget. We no more than signed the paperwork and my phone rang and you were on the other end. So <laughs> anything I can do to help you, to help you grow, let me know. And you've always been there ever since. Thank you. Yeah. We appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it. it it's, a, it's a huge, huge honor to, to be in business with y'all and, and uh, all the wonderful things going on in the San Antonio marketplace. But of course, you can coach and mentor agents all over the United States and Canada and Australia and the United Kingdom. So that's another really great thing about our business model is that no matter what city you're living in, uh, Carmen and Matt can coach you and, and guide you every step of the way. Yes. You know, there's one more thing I just thought about. So another thing, a lot of agents need that office envi environment. Um, mm -hmm. they, they think they need the office environment. And to be honest, ever since we don't have an office anymore and work from home, it freed me up so much more to get so much more work done. You know, the chit chat in the office and, you know, oh gosh, I, I have to run back to the office because I need this, that or whatnot. Um, working from home just really freed up a lot more of my time. And, you know, talking to my transaction coordinator, we do Zoom meetings. I mean, we, we talk to each other just like we do right now. Um, we, we go through the transactions. We talk. It's just like sitting in an office um, without me having to pay for it. And, um, you know, it just made things so much easier and freed up so much of our time. Yeah. It, it's a big game changer, you know, and, and the, the cool thing is that we actually do have an office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And anywhere we've got an internet connection. Yeah. So it's, right. it's not like a, it, we're not virtual. I mean, we actually do have a cloud campus. Right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's again, what, whatever anybody needs. Yes, yeah. there is the option of an office. And yeah. it's interesting also how I talk to other agents and this is where your vendors come in, whether it's title companies, lenders, all these people, they all have office, big office buildings, and they are so happy to share a little room with you. Hey, you need an office today from one to two? Absolutely. Come on in. We got everything, internet, coffee, whatever. You help yourself. You bring your clients in here. Um, it's just a matter of pick and choose. Where, where are we going today if, if I needed an office, which, yeah, of course, I've made use of that as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's just great. Yeah, it's it's a real game changer. I mean, like I said, there when you look at all the different layers of what EXP brings to agents, it's it's fascinating. And you know, now of course our cloud campus is being used by Amazon and the Department of Defense and yeah. Wharton School of Business and Stanford University. So some of the most prestigious institutions out there are using our cloud campus, which just says everything that you need to know about how powerful our learning systems are. And it, yeah. it's you know, to be able to access 40 hours a week of live training classes and to be able to go in and get a question answered by a, a real human being, you know, it, it just, 
it changes everything. It's just a beautiful place to do business. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. It's just getting better and better every day. <laughs> well, Carmen and Matt, I appreciate y'all's time. I know everybody's learned so much. Of course, y'all's contact information is right here on the screen. Reach out to Carmen and Matt. Get all of your questions answered. And uh, Realtors Get Free with EXP. All right. Thanks. Bye, Thanks. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.